Welcome to my channel, the History and Philosophy Corner. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. Why the Vikings were insanely strong, the Viking Berserkers. First, you have to understand that the Vikings were crazy strong for their time. They could do things that none of us can even imagine doing now. We know this because there are accounts of them lifting stones over their heads and then throwing them into walls. And they did it with one arm. That's insane. We can barely lift a rock with two arms, let alone one. And they did this with no weights or machines at all. They just lifted up a rock and held it over their head and threw it down into a wall as hard as they could. Second, the Vikings were incredibly strong because they looked like Hercules. They possessed large muscles as well as long hair and beards. They wore long robes that covered their entire bodies, including their hands and feet, though sometimes these robes had openings in them so that you could see their muscles. Their eyes glowed red from all the rage they felt when they went berserk. Third, the Vikings were stronger than other people in Europe because they ate more meat than everyone else did during this time period. They ate meat almost every day because the meat was cheaper than grains or vegetables. The Vikings had a special drink that made them go berserk and fight like monsters. They would consume this drink right before an attack, and it would make them so powerful that they could defeat armies of thousands of people on their own. This drink was called mead, and it was from honey and yeast. It was very popular in the Viking world because it tasted great and gave you energy. The Norsemen believed that if you drank enough mead, it would make you crazy strong for a short period of time, so they drank as much as possible before going into battle. What makes Vikings fight like animals? Viking warriors were known for their strength, but they also had a dark side. The Berserkers were Viking warriors who would get so bad in the battle that they would become crazed and fight like wild animals. The Norsemen believed that when a warrior's rage was at its height, he could turn into a bear or a wolf, and these Berserkers would fight with such ferocity that it could be described as superhuman. They would bite the edges of their shields and attack with such force that their weapons would shatter on impact. If you're wondering how these warriors became so strong, it's actually pretty simple. They ate a lot of meat. Meat-heavy diets have been shown to increase testosterone levels in men, which is why many bodybuilders eat lots of meat, which makes them more aggressive and gives them increased energy levels. But what made them so strong? These soldiers' training methods, it turns out, were quite rigorous. In fact, they were some of the most brutal training regiments in all of history. One. The Vikings would go into battle wearing animal skins and fight with clubs and axes. This would give them an edge over their opponents because no one else would be wearing animal skins or fighting with clubs and axes. 2. They would train by carrying boulders on their shoulders. If you have ever tried lifting a boulder on your shoulder while you're holding a club in each hand well, let's just say it's not that easy. 3. They would punch trees until their hands bled. This was an effective way of building up calluses on their hands so they could punch even harder when they went into battle. 4. The Vikings training was very intense. They would run long distances and lift heavy stones, but this was only part of the equation. They had to follow a certain diet and use certain herbs to grow muscle mass and prevent fatigue during workouts in order to become truly strong. 5. The Vikings ate mostly meat because it was more readily available than other foods. They also ate fish and dairy because those were easier to store than grains or vegetables, which don't keep well without refrigeration. Their diet consisted of things like beef jerky or dried salmon, roe, which are both high in protein but low in carbs, and fat perfect for building muscle mass. Why did the Vikings go to war? The Vikings placed a high value on combat. In order to find gold and slaves, they assaulted and raided villages. They fought wars to gain greater land under their rule. When the Vikings first arrived in Scotland, they only struck in rapid hit-and-run attacks, like the one on Iona's monastery. They eventually settled on the country's islands and coast. These were the lands of the Vikings. Vikings established a stronghold on Orkney. Until the Battle of Largs, Norway controlled many Scottish islands for hundreds of years. Norway's king Hakon dispatched a fleet of Viking longships to Largs, Ayrshire, in 1263 AD. Scottish warriors attacked the Vikings when they arrived on the shore. Hakan set sail for Orkney, where he died shortly after, 
Three years later, the Norwegians signed a pact making the majority of the Scottish islands under their control legitimately Scottish. Until 1468 AD, Norway ruled over Orkney and Shetland. What are the weapons used by Vikings? Longbows and arrows, spears, longswords, and axes were all used by Viking warriors. Metal swords were costly, so only the wealthiest soldiers could afford them. A good sword was passed down from father to son, but Vikings also buried their weapons when they died. Wooden and metal axes and spears were less expensive, and more Vikings used them. The Vikings wore little armor. Iron, helmets, and chainmail garments were used by some chieftains. A leather helmet and cushioned leather garments might be worn by poor Vikings to protect them. To protect themselves, the Vikings used a circular wooden shield. Who are the Berserkers? The word Berserk comes from the Old Norse word Berserker, meaning bear shirt. Legend has that these warriors would wear bear skins into battle, which would help them enter the Berserker state faster than if they wore normal clothing. Viking warriors known as berserkers fought in wolf or bearskins. Berserker is an Old Norse word that means bearskin. Berserkers thought that Odin, the god of war, bestowed superhuman abilities on them and that they didn't need to wear combat armor to stay safe. They become engaged and charge into the fight without fear. When someone says you've gone crazy, they're implying that you've gone completely insane and out of control, much like a berserker. Tactics of Viking When coming into battle, Vikings would first shoot arrows from afar, hoping to hurt or kill as many of their opponents as possible. They would toss spears as they approached near in order to inflict more damage. They would strike with swords and axes once they were near enough to their opponents while defending with shields. What were the characteristics of Viking warships? For raiding and warfare, the Vikings built speedy dragon ships and longships. A ship carried everything required at sea, water, food, tools, weapons, and warm furs. Viking longships could sail in shallow water, allowing them to cross rivers as well as the sea. A ship could be dragged up on a beach during a raid. The Vikings may charge out and begin fighting, then flee if pursued. Vikings warships were fast and maneuverable, but they were also very light and fragile. The Vikings used a variety of materials to build their ships, including wood, leather, and even metal. The boats were often built with a shallow draft so that they could sail into shallow waters, but this meant that they were not seaworthy in rough seas or storms. The Viking ships had shallow keels and long narrow hulls, which made them fast and maneuverable. They had a single square sail, which was raised when the wind was strong enough to move the ship forward at an angle between 45 degrees and 60 degrees from the line of travel. They also had oars for rowing when there was no wind available or when it was needed to change direction quickly or break hard before docking at the shore or after an attack on enemy ships in battle situations, when speed is important for survival. Did you like Toddy's video? Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for more incredible videos.